Alaska member representing Alpha Federal Constituency. I rise just to also contribute a little on this, to this debate based on experience. I was among the pioneer operators of this act. I was a federal commissioner in the Fiscal Responsibility Commission. So I happen to be one of the members that operated this act. Therefore, we have examined through experience some of the lapses of this arrangement. The act itself, like my last speaker stated, has 14 parts and uh, 57 sections. Uh, we have gone through all that and uh, proposed an amendment up to 52 sections from the 57 section of it. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, I read just a little of my paper. Honorable Speaker, honorable members, I see for your valued support to allow a bill be read second time. The bill consists of 57 clauses, among which 52 were amended. Honorable Speaker, honorable colleagues, in the last five years, leakages in revenue generation and remittance have assumed an alarming dimension in the country. In 2015, African Union report on illicit financial flows from African compiled by, uh, compiled by AU, panel led by the former South African president, Sam Ebeki, said Africa loses an estimated 60 billion naira, sorry, dollars, about 10.8 trillion naira annually through such transfers. The report stated that Nigeria accounts for over $40.9 billion, about $6.87 trillion naira, or 68% of the total figure. Cumulatively, Nigeria also topped the list of 10 African countries with huge incidents of illicit financial transfers between 1970 and 2008, recording about $217.7 billion, which amounted to about 36.57 trillion naira, or 30.5 percent of the total in the continent. In the most recent past, the government has reeled out figures of unaccounted revenues, unaccounted revenues. These include 3.8 trillion allegedly withheld by Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation out of the 8.1 trillion the country earned from the crude oil sales between 2012 and 2015. Others are 109.7 billion royalty from oil companies allegedly allegedly not remitted by the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, and accounted 183 billion by Niger Delta Development Commission, and other 13 billion dollar dividends from the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas, also of concern are unapproved withdrawal of 2.1 billion dollar from excess crude account. One billion allegedly withdrawn from government treasury in 2015 and, uh, and alleged six billion stolen by the former minister among others. Honorable Speaker, honorable colleagues, the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2007 stipulates that any government agency that generate revenue must remit 80% of its operating surplus to the Consolidated Revenue Fund account. Yet, according to the figures released by the Fiscal Responsibility Commission, over 4 trillion naira has been lost in the, few, in the last few years to non-remittance of the operating surplus. Most of the agencies do not obey the law and use all forms of accounting uh, techniques to divide the government, including submitting two financial uh, statements. One account is usually submitted to the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, 
and the other versions submitted to the Fiscal Responsibility Commission. The Minister of Finance recently stated that many of the MDAs spend all their internally generated revenue as some and subvention released to them. In November 2017, this Halo Chamber resolved to investigate the 115 billion tax liabilities allegedly owed by the federal government, Conclusion. ministries, departments, and agencies. Conclusion. Furthermore, most of the revenue generating agencies deny the <coughs> Auditor General of the Federation access to their financial books and records in direct contravention of the 125 of Section 3 and the Constitution of Nigeria. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, the Fiscal Responsibility Act does not have specific and stringent sanctions against both MDAs and their heads, of, and their heads for failure to comply with the provision or the Act. Also, it does not make provision for nature of punishment for persons that violate this provision. Finally, there is no access provision to hold principal officers of government uh, organization liable for violating the, 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 the law. <laughs> Honorable colleagues, there is fundamentally an across-the-board problem of transparency and accountability by the MDS on a level that undermines the economic progress of our country. It is as a result of this that the Honorable Speaker himself sponsored budget process bill towards ensuring comprehensive budget reform that would close the structural and procedural gaps which limit transparency and accountability in the budget process. A major flaw in the formulation sta stages is the fact that they are largely non-conclusive and non-transparent. This fact is confirmed by the 2015 Transparency Open Budget Index in which Nigeria scored 24 out of 100 below the global average score of 45. Other huge gap is the constitutional provision which provides a time frame with no timeline for the presentation and approval of the budget. The Fiscal Responsibility Act 27 only makes reference to the preparation of the medium term expenditure framework for the next three financial years, which should be laid before the National Assembly for consideration, not later than four months before the commencement of the next financial year. Honorable Speaker, honorable colleagues, this bill therefore seeks to address a long term, on a long term basis, some of these core challenges by enhancing the powers of the Commission. The amendment also provides for fixed and realistic budget calendar, public participation in the budget process, public access to budget information during the budget preparation process, and rules the policy planning budget linkages. The amendment bill makes public consultation in preparation of the draft MTEP compulsory and provides timelines for its preparation and approval by the National Assembly. The proposed amendment also requests MDAs to deposit at least 25% of their revenue in the Consolidated Revenue Fund instead of 80% of their operating surplus would they arbitrarily determine. This will improve availability of funds for budget implementation. To ensure, to em, em, ensure compliance with financial regulations regarding income generation, accounting and remittance, the proposed amendment Will, the, the proposed amend bill, amended bill has outlined elaborate sanctions for violation of the provisions of the Act for the criminalization of certain acts and omissions. Silence, please. The the Order. Will be Order, honorable members, please. Persons, body shall Zachary Mohammed, please. Silence. And, that I and sit down to. properly. Furthermore, the proposed amend, amended bill amendment bill will empower the court, whether under a criminal or civil action, to recover all benefits for related corrupt arrangements with this provision. In addition to the conviction, the offender will also forfeit all acquired funds 
to the state. Honorable colleagues, I therefore move that this bill be read the second time and ask my colleagues to please support it to improve transparency and accountability in the fiscal uh, management process.